A recent attack at the Padre Hotel bar has customers worried about their safety downtown. And some patrons say a stabbing at the iconic Bakersfield hotspot, the Padre, this weekend is a growing trend that they see and they want to see stop. 22-year-old Anthony Rodriguez was stabbed by another man outside the Padre just after midnight Friday. It happened after an argument inside the hotel. Two women then wrote letters to the Bakersfield Californian saying recent violence has left them feeling unsafe at the Padre. And 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us now with a look at how those complaints have apparently prompted a reaction. Amanda? Jackie, those complaints put the Padre in the spotlight. Management says they'll be stepping up security to make sure those looking to start trouble don't make it through the doors. Something the two Bakersfield women say can't happen soon enough because right now they don't feel safe. In the last not even a year, we've seen four different times something scary happen. It seems to be attracting the wrong group of people. That's why Jennifer Doherty and Kai Mercado decided to voice their opinions about the Padre and its club, the Prospect Lounge, to let management know something needs to change. First of all, we're not ignorant to how bars go down. We know that when alcohol is around, patrons might get a little rowdy and sometimes incidents happen. But that's the problem. It's just sometimes. It should be just sometimes as opposed to often. Police say officers have been called to the Padre 255 times in the last year. The majority of those calls were over the weekend in the early morning hours. But while the number of calls have gone up, police say 255 isn't an unusually high number for a place like the Padre. You know, it's the kind of thing that can happen anywhere, but maybe a wake-up call for them. And Kevin Bartle with the Downtown Business Association says the Padre is a Bakersfield landmark that the DBA will continue to support. We love having the Padre downtown. I think it's a source of pride for the whole city and for the downtown community. Still, Clifton Carmody, director of food and beverage operations for the Padre's parent company, says safety is their number one priority. We believe we have a fundamentally safe hotel and safe venues, but obviously there's always room for improvement and we want to be the premier spot between San Francisco and LA, so every little part counts. Which is why Carmody says they're adding several more security guards to the team and will also be enforcing the dress code. Doherty and Mercado say they look forward to the new changes. We want to be able to go there still. We don't want it to be a place where we don't feel comfortable. We want to be able to keep going because we like the Padre. Doherty and Mercado also told me they think the most that most of the problems are coming from the Prospect Lounge, which turns into a nightclub on the weekends. Management is already thinking about possibly turning that into a lounge or a wine bar instead, and they're asking the public to weigh in on that, Tim.